Tis the season, as they say, it's camp season now. And recently, a fellow young man listening to the head counselor, head counselor tells him, listen, this is what you got to do. It's giving them the first day of the year speech. And he says, the buses are coming tomorrow morning, and kids are going to get off the bus. And everyone's going to run into everybody else's arms, and they're going to hug each other, high-five each other. It's going to be great. But there will be one kid. That kid. The kid who doesn't know anybody. The kid, because it's his first time in camp, he feels like crying and turning around and going home. Find that kid. Put your arm around him. Buy him a soda and a Danish. So this guy listens, and he does it. And he goes over to the kid, and he finds that kid. And he buys him a soda and a Danish. And he goes back to that counselor, and he tells him, by the way, I found the kid. And I did what you said to do. I'm just curious. You seem to be so into it. Why? He says, I'll tell you the truth. 30 years ago, I was that kid. And it changed my life, changed my camping experience, and I became a head counselor. So he says, do you remember the guy's name? Who was the guy that came over to you? South Asia? His name is Moishi Icecracker. That's his name. Icecracker, that's his name. He calls up, this counselor calls up Moishi Icecracker and he says, I'm just curious. My head counselor just told me to do something. I did it. He said it changed his life. He said that you changed his life. I'm just curious. Why did you do it? He says, I'll tell you the truth. 30 years ago, I was that kid. And I'm in camp, and somebody came to visit camp. He came to visit his father in camp. Young married guy. And he saw me, and I was terribly homesick. I was very down. He put his arm around my shoulder, and he said, it's going to be all right. And he bought me a Danish. He says, really? He says, yeah, it changed my life. He says, wow. He says, what was his name? His name was Shmuel Kamenetsky. So I asked his grandson, who's a good friend of mine, ask your Zayda. Ask him if it's a true story. He says, do you have any idea how many Danishes my Zayda must have bought? <laughs> to include others, to feel a sense of love for our fellow Jew. Not only the neighbors, not only the strangers, but our own families.